многие международные эксперты говорят об уникальности казахстанской модели общественного согласия и межэтнического единства. В чем, на ваш взгляд, проявляется эта уникальность? If you're going to build a state around eth ethnicity, then by recognizing the existence of different ethnic groups, you actually reinforce the sense of uh, the ethnicity of the majority. So I think, uh, uh, yeah, I see what Kazakhstan is, is doing by uh, basing its politics on ethnicity. It, uh, in a sense, justifies the... Uh, Uh, the dominance of the dominant ethnic group, I suppose, and that's essentially uh, the basis of some stability in Kazakhstan. But whether it's unique, I, 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 I don't know. It's celebrated. It's celebrated. Let's say that. Назовите наиболее актуальные направления научных исследований в сфере межэтнических отношений. Well, I think the research into ethnic cooperation largely depends on the size of the ethnicities involved, um, and. Uh, For the most part, the, the, the smaller ethnic groups here are so small that it's, it's, very diff it's, it's not a problem to accommodate them. In fact, by accommodating them, I think you uh, underpin the, the claim of the majority ethnic group. Um, however, the, it's clear that uh, there are some parts of social life in Kazakhstan which are dominated by one ethnic group and not another. And that's a pattern you see in lots of newly independent uh, countries. The, uh, uh, you know, the uh, majority group is, um, is dominant, um, imposes its dominance informally, if not formally. So that if you look at the, you know, the distribution of public sector jobs or the distribution of uh, uh, public sector uh, subsidies, etc., etc., um, you can see that one ethnic group is certainly uh, doing better than... Others.